Hello, David here, and the project for today is replacing the water pipe on our street. We currently have a asbestos concrete type of water supply pipe that was put in in the mid-1950s, and it's being replaced with some type of cast iron pipe, 6 inch diameter. Well, this stuff right here. The crew has already buried pipe along this line. This is some of the gravel with which they fill the new pipe. This pipe is about four or five feet deep. The existing line is over here on this side of the street. They're not going to dig it out. They're just going to leave it in there. It doesn't pay to dig it out. Also, uh, if they did try to dig it out, we'd be without water for a week or so. So they've done this uh, progress in about five days. A buried line up until up until I've got a valve under here. There's a four-way valve. Do not finish setting that in. I'm not quite sure if there's another valve under there. To get a chance to look in there. But they got pipe up to about right here. And I guess they're going to go, well, that's a new development over there. So uh, I'm not sure if they're getting new pipe or not. Not sure where it's going to end. It might end here.
case, that's a heavy duty vibrator. your home. I told me that's for you. But <laughs> you're at work, thank you. <laughs> This is the new main line. Okay. When we disconnect out of that, it'll be like a hanging tie-in. Everything will come up and meet into that. Oh, okay. all that the, all that line does is surplus for the uh, water tower over here. Oh, okay. You need a block and a bar? Yeah. He has one on. Let's hit it home one more time. Boy, and of course, plug, it's right over. Park it closer to the garage than the street. Yes. Yeah. 
The next step is digging out access, excavating the water meter, and then digging a line to the new main. to operate that machinery without hitting your workers. Here's our hot flag lady. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Fabulous. Great. This is Rodney and Jim's hole and meter. So that's the uh, new piping for the new meter. Look at all those. Everyone gets one. Those, look how pretty that piping is. Pretty piping. Barbara likes your piping. <laughs> say at the end of the day these guys do a great job of buttoning everything up cover everything up make it look nice and neat so all the cars can drive through to get to their houses there's a little iodine Just remember, operating heavy equipment can be extremely dangerous. Do not try this at home. Operating heavy equipment can result in serious injury, even death. It's best to leave it to us, factory trained professionals. <laughs> Tomorrow they're cutting off the water and it's going to be off all day, so whenever you have a planned water outage, make sure you stock up about four or five of these five gallon buckets of water for flushing toilets and also get some uh, drinking water. So fill up about four or five of these gallon containers with drinking water so you could cook and drink water. A few potatoes don't hurt as well. Today is either the last day or the second last day of construction. They turn the water off at 8.30 a.m. Plan to have it back on at 5 p.m. but it's noon and they haven't worked their way over to our house yet. See if they got the meter installed. No, the meter is not in yet. And they're gonna be putting in some newfangled meter that the meter can, the meter reader can read remotely. So uh, that's called a smart meter. I suppose if you speak out against the central planning committee, they could shut your water off if they're mad at you, but who knows? They are pressure testing the lines at the other end of the street, so they need to make sure that the new main can hold pressure without leaking. So hopefully all goes well. We are now hooked up to the new water main, and they put our old meter back in. The new meters aren't ready to come in. They're going to 
bring those in at a later time. They just wanted to get the new piping installed and hooked up to our home water supply. I noticed he cut off a little bit of our our line going to the house because it had some dings in it. Well, there it is. I don't know how it got dinged up like that. Here the meter box is in. Got a plastic box with a cast iron top and an access plate. Starting to look nice. They even put the rocks back the way they were, or kind of the way they were. third week of construction and today is the second day in which they turned off our water and they dug a huge hole in the street. They turned the water off because they're hooking on the neighboring development into the new water main. You won't believe the size of this hole. Put you in the video. The old main is cut, putting a finishing cut on the supply pipe so that uh, they get a clean splice in there so it doesn't leak. And they're going to bring that over here. Now hooked up to the new main and the back fill in the trend. The 
is the fourth week of construction. All the pipes are in the ground. They just have to lay the vertical access pipes to the valves and the crew has cut neat lines for the paving company to come in and put in a better patch so that we're going to have smoother streets.
Paving crew has finished filling in the patches for the trenches. Did a masterful job here. Paving around the excess plates for the four-way valve. And also over here is where they dug the vault for the, I don't know what was over here. This was the, uh, this was the line that was going up the hill to feed the community up the hill. And also there's a, uh, I can still feel the heat coming up out of here. The line feeding the, the gas line uh, for the new development terminates over here as well. Plus uh, the telephone line comes up along this way. Just some cleanup left to do. Guys do a very neat job. And this patch goes all the way down to the end of the street down there. And there's a patch here for the fire hydrant. I don't know why that's taped off. And the patch here for our water supply. Looks like we're losing our fire hydrant. I hope my fire insurance doesn't go up. Because the ditch in which the fire hydrant was located is now filled in with dirt. There's no stub there for plumbing. <laughs>